Discrete mathematics. Discrete mathematics is the study of mathematical structures that are considered discrete, as opposed to continuous ones that are found in the real numbers, calculus, or most types of geometry. This includes the integers, graphs, sets, and logic. Discrete objects can usually be enumerated with the integers and so deals most often with countable sets, but this isn't all inclusive of discrete mathematics. Discrete mathematics has applications to computers, networks, web searches, navigation, scheduling problems, cryptography, apportionment of democratic representatives, computer graphics, voting, data science, logistics, and more. Logic. Mathematical logic is the study of formal logic in mathematics. This includes understanding models, proofs, sets, and recursion. Important ideas in logic include statements, which are sentences that have a defined truth value of true or false, conjunctions like and and or to connect statements, the universal and existential quantifiers, propositional functions, conditional statements, negations, converses, contrapositives, and so on. Logical fallacies are arguments that violate the behavior of one or more of these logical connectives. What I have described here are parts of what is called propositional and first order logic, however other systems of logic exist and are studied by mathematicians and philosophers. These include second order logic, infinitary logic, and non-classical logics. Logic is the foundation of all mathematics, but also has applications to philosophy, computer science, linguistics, social science, and more. Hey, there are 10 types of people in this world, those who understand the binary number system and those who don't. And if you like that joke, hit that subscribe button. And if you didn't, uh, hit the subscribe button anyway, because we want you to be part of the Scholar Sauce community. All right, let's get back to the video. Boolean algebra. Boolean algebra, named after George Boole, is the algebra of logical expressions. Boolean variables take values as true and false, usually denoted by 1 and 0 respectively. The operators on Boolean variables are logical operators like AND, OR, and negation. Boolean algebra provides a formal way of expressing logical operations. Boolean algebra has natural applications to computer science, electronics, machine, and programming languages, but because of its ability to express logic, also has applications to basically all of mathematics and philosophy as well. Set theory. Set theory is a subtopic of mathematical logic that studies sets. Like algebraic structures, to prove things about sets, the sets are required to satisfy certain axioms. The most common axioms assumed for sets are the axioms set out by Ernst Zermelo and Abraham Frankel, called zermelo frankel set theory, with the axiom of choice, or ZFC set theory. The ZFC set theory forms the foundation of most other topics in mathematics. Important ideas in set theory include the intersection and union of sets, cardinality, infinity, Venn diagrams, functions between sets, the axiom of choice, and the continuum hypothesis. Many mathematicians specializing in set theory are also interested in the implications of the ZFC axioms and other set theories where those axioms are not necessarily assumed. This study has led to a deeper understanding of the implications of the zermelo frankel axioms. For example, Paul Cohen in 1963 used a set theory technique called forcing to prove that the axiom of choice and the continuum hypothesis were independent of the zermelo frankel axioms, meaning that there are models of zermelo frankel set theory that satisfy the axiom of choice and or the continuum hypothesis and those that don't. Applications of set theory, besides Pretty much all of math, include computer science, logic and philosophy, probability and statistics, information theory, linguistics, and more. Combinatorics. Combinatorics is primarily about counting, particularly how to count complicated combinations of things. Historically important ideas in the subject of combinatorics include the Fibonacci numbers, counting permutations, combinations, and partitions, the binomial coefficient, Pascal's triangle, the bridge of Konigsberg problem, and so on. More modern considerations in combinatorics include partially ordered sets, lattice theory, and more. A far more complicated branch of mathematics than it sounds, combinatorics has important applications to probability, graph theory, communication networks, cryptography, computational molecular biology, computer architecture, languages, pattern analysis, databases, and many more. Graph theory. Graph theory is the study of objects called graphs that model pairwise relations between objects. Each object is represented as a node and each relationship is represented by an edge connecting two nodes. Edges can be directed or undirected. Graph theory is the study and analysis of such graphs and their properties. Applications of graph theory include gerrymandering and voting, networks, database management, algorithm design, biological networks, phylogenetics, social network analysis, opinion dynamics, transportation, logistics, chemistry, finance, computer science, and more. Network theory. Network theory is a branch of graph theory where each edge in a graph carries attributes such as a magnitude or to indicate something concrete such as influence, communication, or location. Essentially, network theory is the application of graph theory to real-world problems. One of the main ideas of network theory is the idea of network centrality, which are various measures of which node in a graph is central in some sense. For example, a network of web pages where the web pages are nodes and the edges are links between web pages can be ranked according to a centrality measure known as PageRank, which was developed by Google and is one of the primary ways that search engines 
regions will list results. Applications of network theory include electrical grid analysis, social network analysis, biological network analysis, and more. Number theory. Number theory is the study of mainly the integers and arithmetic functions. Some of the primary objects studied by number theorists include the prime numbers and mathematical objects that could be constructed from the integers, such as the rational numbers or the algebraic integers. While concerning primarily the integers, many analytic techniques and ideas are used to understand concepts in number theory, such as the Riemann zeta function. Number theory that employs ideas from analysis is referred to as analytic number theory. On the other hand, rings of algebraic integers can be viewed as lattices in Rn. And the geometry of such a lattice informs our understanding of the corresponding ring. Number theory that employs ideas from geometry is referred to as geometric number theory. The importance of number theory was touted by Carl Friedrich Gauss when he said that mathematics is the queen of the sciences and number theory is the queen of mathematics. Whether or not all mathematicians feel the same way, number theory certainly has incredibly important applications to cryptography, data security, computer science, coding theory, financial mathematics, and more. Discrete geometry. Discrete geometry is the study of combinatorial properties of geometric objects. This mainly includes answering questions about finite sets of basic geometric objects, such as points, lines, or polygons. This this includes tessellations of the plane, polyhedra, circle packings, map colorings, finite incidence geometry, and more. Discrete geometry has applications to other parts of mathematics such as graph theory, topology, and algebra. It also has real-world applications to computer graphics, robotics, image processing, network design, crystallography, and more. Discrete optimization. Discrete optimization is concerned with optimizing functions where the variables are discrete and not continuous, such as the integers. This applies to optimizing problems in graphs, matroids, and over the integers. Discrete optimization finds applications to bioinformatics, telecommunication network design, circuit design, resource allocation, finance, logistics, and even sports scheduling. Information theory. Information theory concerns the quantification, storage, and communication of information and uses mathematics to understand these ideas. This applies to how information is stored and processed not only in computers but also in other kinds of physical and biological objects such as brains. Applications of information theory include data compression, error detection, statistical inference, cryptography, neurobiology, signal processing, bioinformatics, quantum computing, information retrieval, pattern recognition, music, philosophy, and much more. Game theory. Game theory is the mathematics of decision making in strategic settings. Such settings are referred to as mathematical games since games are a type of such a setting. However, many economic, political, and social situations are also a strategic setting that game theory can help us understand. The study of game theory concerns modeling strategic settings to understand the kinds of strategic behaviors that a game would incentivize and how players may optimize their behavior within such settings. Game theory has applications to economics, actuarial science, voting, politics, international affairs, computer science, and more. And that's it for part four of every type of math. In this part, we considered every type of discrete mathematics. If I missed your favorite part of discrete mathematics, let me know in the comments. Parts 1, 2, and 3 of this series covered every type of analysis, algebra, and geometry respectively, and you can find this entire series in this playlist here. The final part of this series is on statistics, and you can find that video here. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and you can continue to enjoy our content such as this video on how mathematical induction can play tricks on your brain. We'll see you next time on ScholarSauce.